Hey guys, welcome back to another R6 video. Today we're going to be going over everything with uh, Operation Nor North Star, or North Star for short. I'm J Dog six seven zero four plays, and yeah, we're just gonna go over it. Um, I I'll just record on my Twitch. If you're on my Twitch and you're watching this, go follow my YouTube, and especially if you're on YouTube and you like uh, seeing people stream, go check out my Twitch, Twitch, uh, Twitch TV slash J Dog six seven zero four. Yeah, without without further ado, we're going to go over all the changes that are, that have come to basically our six all together, and we're going to check out um, Thunderbirds. So, um, first things first, um, let's check out the Battle Pass and Cinemac. Ready? Six years ago, I met a pilot. She saved my life. No mad, by the way. If you guys couldn't tell, or don't know the lore. That symbol, what does it mean? <laughs> this jacket was my father's. Dagu Wakan, we chakpi. The creator's star has many meanings. Love, She has a very wisdom, bravery. Shoot, shoot. Stupid thing, but she has Listen, a very I need to get this uh, English in accent, air. kind of. You try to get some rest. Yo, the bus. I'm surprised that they. I'm surprised that they gave her such a, like American-based accent. Like, sure, sure, she's Nakota, like from Nakota, but like I knew that. It's North. It's <clears throat> North America. I, I'm in North America. Um, I just didn't know that they they What's would give mean? her such a rich, a rich accent, kind of a little bit of a rich accent. Oh, oh shoot. That's a bear. Hey! Spot it! Turn a fire at him? Yep. Wait, that's it? What happened next? <laughs> Why Ash. don't you ask yourself? For who is that? I don't know who that is. Is that like Haban? So, um, so yeah, essentially, uh, she is a one armor, three speed, and she she's pretty easy to work, um, and yeah, so she is, she's essentially a portable dock. As you guys can see right there, she has the spear. So let's take a look at the battle pass. As we do all, every season, I'm actually going to get it because this is one of the ones that I I like to get. So, um, let's just get the basic one. I'm not going to get the 20 tiers, because I want, because I, I genuinely actually want to work up. Uh, I'm actually going to do a better job with it. So we have Thunderbird Airborne Bundle, so let's just equip that for right now. So next we have the Flare Gun, a Flare Gun Charm. We have a Fighter Jet thing for Frost, for SMG. We have a... A interesting ash skin for being a rare. You can see it. It kind of like has a 3D kind of effect. Not bad, not bad. We have an elf pack. Um, tier five. We get more our six threats. Then for no, oh, for Valkyrie. Looks like we're getting this. Looks like this is going to stay constant throughout the season. This like pattern. Uh, we also have a. Attachment skin for Ash. We have Meister who also has that pattern alongside Valkyrie. We have Firestarter. Raccoon Bait. F what is it? F Fruity Raccoon. Best lure on the market. Family recipe. Special blend. Can't read the book. The the uh, bomb of it. Then we have an act. Oh, it was Frost. It was Frost who was talking to Nomad, I think. Laid back, Frost. We actually have not actually gotten a full, like, different, like, I guess, like, um, a, a full face, face reveal of, like, what Frost looks like. So this is actually, well, her elite, but other than this, that, jeez. Um, definitely worth worth it being at, at 
uh, Battle Pass 10. <laughs> and now we have Run of the Mill. Of course, I have the, um, the, uh, what was it called? Sugar Fright event, I think. So let's actually take a look at this. Oh, nice. She has like a little like knife on the back. She has glow sticks. The Canadian thing there. Some stickers like a, like a squirrel. What is that? Like a, a tooth or whatever that she's hanging. That, that is hanging from her. Or a tooth necklace or something. Um... She has kind of like rubber. Okay, she has rubber, but rubber boots and honestly, pretty good outfit actually. Frost. This is actually a pretty good frost set. Now we have thermite. Um, with so it looks like thermite's the, the other operator. Helmet looks good. It looks very <laughs> wonky, but looks good as well. We have. The Flo so Flores is another operator with this. And I can see also Chachanka is based on these two. Then we have Messy Bun for IQ. She kind of looks cross-eyed. <laughs> looks good. So I wonder if she's like going to be like a mechanic or something in here. Now we have Northern Lights for Buck. It seems like they're trying to do a lot more with the North America theme, which I... Like wilderness and stuff, which I appreciate. Uh, experience backpacker. <laughs> Wait, hang on. I want to take a look at the backpack more. Very glacier kind of like. Um. What does that say? I can't tell if that says. Very, very good outfit for Ella. Very good outfit. I, I like that. Uh, then we have, moving on, just more Alphax, more boosters. We have Jackal with the same, like, optic thing. We have Blanket for Finca and Capcan. Finca and Capcan's uh, shotgun. And then we have another Thunderbird jacket. Freewheel, freewheeling Pilot. This is actually surprising that it's all the way in tier 20, 23. I'm actually surprised. Then we have the replica for Thermite. Oh, jeez. Then we have the uh, ocular scales for Ayana. This, you know what this gives me? This gives me very much Wraith vibes. This gives me, like, like from, about, from uh, Call of Duty. This gives me very, very Wraith, like... Viking, like, Northern Europe uh, vibes. I like it, though. I think it's unique. Then we have Trail Seeker for Buck. Looks good. Kind of has the same old, like, rugged look. Um, Kind of has, like, IQ. Looks good. I probably won't change it, though, because I have uh, the previous Battle Pass, Buckskin. Then we have... Uh, the same thing the uh, Ridicule Squad made for Valk. Then we have Ranger Keys for Frost. Frost Rover. Frost Rover. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. Of how it like says Frost and it has her insignia on the back. Kind of cool. Then we have Snakeskin for Maestro. And then we have Fit Crags. Craig. Craig's Woman, I think it's called. Nice. Kind of looks like she might be doing like off road, maybe. And I, I like how she has like a sweater and and a lot of the stuff. Then we have ocular scales for Flores. I actually like of how of what they did with uh his, what's it called like a, a, a how what what do you call Flores's hat like a like a news cap or something. I like of what they did with it. Looks good. Then we have. Just more about um alpha packs. Then we have for Oryx and Legion. We have Rescue North American Jet. Looks cool. Then we have then we have another one. We have a we have another Thunderbird headgear to match. I guess we have free wielding pilot. This is actually very early into the battle pass. Like holy, this is tier thirty. 
36. And we're not, like, usually it would be, like, tier 100 or something. Like, geez. Um, then we have Resourceful Awareness for Buck. Looks good. Looks very much like he's he's hiking and stuff, like, like, like Frost a little bit. Uh, then we have First Responder for IQ. Looks good. Looks, again, like she was hiking or something, and she's, like, doing a rescue. Then we have Valley Energy Bar. Sweet Potato and Pumpkin Spice Energy Bar. Not gonna lie. I'm kind of interested of how... I'm kind of interested to what, what that tastes like. Uh, then we have uh, Chachanka with Red Cooled Squad Mate. <laughs> yes, I do have the, the uh, Unicorn Chachanka. Don't judge me. <laughs> Then we have Ocular Scales for Maestro. Moving on. We have the Navigation Tool. Very cool. Looks, It's a very 3D based charm. I think I like it. Very cool. Then we have ba Baker. Is this... Is this a nod to... Wait, hang on. Baker... 1941... I can't read the the back of it, but I think that's not to Thatcher. Then we have Oryx. So okay, Oryx is the uh, the uh, uh, the other operator in here. He has a climate climbing helmet. Not the best. I think I, I think I'm still going to keep my um the uh scarf thing for it, but looks good. I I still like it. We have then Thermite's uh uniform. Then we have Safeguard for uh. The uh, Tachanka, uh, no, um, Cap Capcan's uh, SMG looks good, looks very much like neon. Then we have Cap. Oh, all right, this is here 46 49. My bad, 49. Let's take a look at this briskly disguise. Damn. This looks like a mix of like Buck Bucks Elite with like a little bit of like Mute's uh Battle Pass. Like I forgot what Battle Pass it was, but like it's the I think around the world. Whoops, I just exited out of the battle pass. Whoops, whoops, that's challenges. Uh let's go back to where we were. But yeah, that actually that looks that looks awesome, honestly. Um so then we so that is holy I can't wait to see what the headgear is. Uh, then we have Improvised Guard. Ooh. Oh. So we have... Oh, it has like a little bayonet. That's actually kind of cool. But like with some tape. Looks like it's all mended together. Makeshift. Looks honestly really good. I, I, I think I might use this for a little bit. Probably not, but you know. Uh, then we, moving on, we have safety protocol for, I think, this has to be, this has to be Thatcher, because Flores has the sandstone. Then we have a matching attachment skin for Yeager's skin that we just saw, and then we have Snack of Fortune. Oh. Well then, <laughs> um, then we have Bandit with a... Kind of like a kind of like a hunting hat kind of. Looks good. I, I think I like it. Kind of you can see like he's been in the cold. He is in the cold, really. And then we have snakeskin for Jackal. I won't again I won't use it because I have more stuff. Valkyrie charm. We have air medical services for Ella's uh scorpion. Then we, yep, then we have Thatcher with, uh, per, per regination. I did my best to pronounce that. Uh, looks good. Kind of looks like a, like, maybe like a British, like, search and rescue uniform. I don't know. Then we have Thermite with his snakeskin. Then we have regulated squad mate for Flores and holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god.
Okay, this is one of the best uh, ocular scales. I'm gonna say, this is one of the best ocular scales. Like, look how goofy and menacing this is. Like, imagine, like, you're... Imagine, like, you're, like, right behind Tachanka, and then he turns around. <laughs> they, they, they they outdone themselves with the helmet. I thought it was just gonna be a basic design. Anyway, then we have Canadian Chopper for the M, uh, MP7. Uh, yeah, yeah, MP7. Then we have Nomad, which I saw was coming, a uh, headgear. Uh, capillarily ash, ashiness. I probably butchered that. Looks good. We actually haven't got, haven't seen Nomad without her hair really that often. Um, looks good, honestly. We like we don't really see it because of the, what's it called? Like, per, uh, is it called a hijab? I I I don't know. I'm 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 familiar with it, but looks good. Looks very much like a bell damaged Nomad. Of course, that's the that's what that's what they were hoping to get. Um. Or hoping to make. Then we have Snakeskin for Valk. Then we have Rescue Ranger for <laughs> Bandit. Very basic. Kind of just has like him like hiking or something with like a red stripe. Oh my god. Mud caked. Thatcher. Holy crap. <laughs> he looks like he just came out of a chimney. Holy. Um. <laughs> Okay, then we have Maestro Replica, and we have Bear Bell. I assume this is supposed to be like a Frost uh, charm. Then we have the squad mate for Yana. Oh my god. Why does he look like that one bird? <laughs> uh, the, white, the white bird, I forgot what it's called. It's like, the, the birds that are usually like like all white. I forgot what they're called. Uh, I forgot what they're called. Oh my god! This actually looks really good, though. It's just, it looks like the it looks like the bird. Maybe it fits well with the uniform. I don't know. Maybe maybe it like covers up something. It like I don't know. But it looks honestly really good. It's a it's a good change of pace for Capcan, and we kind of like get to see all a a little bit more of his face. So that's actually really interesting. Then we have Forest Essentials, which just has like a, a water canteen a little bit. We have a Chishanka replica. Then we have Rescue Mountaineering for for Oryx. Looks good. Kind of has like the blue with, mixed with the red. So I think it looks good. Kind of like uh, uh, North America colors, kind of. Then we have Emergency Chopper for Nomad, of course. Looks good. A little bit dull, but looks good. Then we have Absorbent Headband for Ella. I actually like... Why do I like this? Why do I like this? <laughs> it's a rare, but why do I like it? <laughs> it? A lot of these things I feel like should just be defaultly epic. Or like, I feel like... If you got a headgear, you should know what battle pass you got it from. This actually looks really good, honestly. Even though, like, the headband is kind of weird, it looks good. <laughs> I don't know why. It just looks good. I don't know. Then we have Great Northern Driver for A6. We have Snakeskin for Blackbeard and Flores' DM DMR. We have a attachment skin for Vigil. I've actually seen this, but I'm not going to spoil it. Um, and it's a longbow. So then we have Subsister, which I think this is the uniform that we saw in the uh, cinematic. We have fixed wing aircraft for Knock and Smoke. We have Wooden Whistle Charm. We have Ocular Scales for Jackal. Search and Rescue, just a attachment skin universal. Then we have Snake Skin for Nomad and Yana. Wait a minute. Okay, for a second those were spaced out. Then we have a Autumn Longbow. Now this was actually leaked, not leaked, but this was actually, I first saw it on 
uh, if you guys don't know this person, go check him out. Uh, or you probably know of him if you're if you're anywhere in the R6 community. Um, Coconut Bra. I I was on Instagram. And I was scrolling through and I saw Coconut Bra. Uh, his story and he said um that um he said is this real or fake and a lot of people said that it's real and i was like surely this is not surely this is like a developer skin right no it's a genuine skin like you can see it's a crossbow how that how i wonder if this is like a hybrid of how like you could shoot it or not but i'm, I'm uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it works in game it probably works the same then we have but honestly this is a great skin though honestly like the the the, the devs have outdone themselves uh, then we have Frosted Moss for Knock. Then we have Sub Zero Descent. Uh, de yeah, Descent. A really good. Uh, whoops, that's challenges. Uh, crap. Sorry for the sound, guys. It's it's not me. It's the game. <laughs> there we go. Then we have um, Frosted Moss, Sub Zero Descent, and then we have Search and Rescue, a Universal skin. It actually looks really cool. Wait. Earn an uncom... What? So they... Oh my god. So like, even after you get 100 tiers, you can still get alpha packs. That's actually... That's actually a really, really good system. Because I know a lot of people who don't... Including me sometimes. A lot of people finish the battle pass early, like actual like tryhards. <laughs> Not to be rude, but actual tryhards actually get past level one hundred and they don't have anything anything else to do. So it's good that they actually incorporate an elf pack system. So looks good. So now for the challenges for the season, we have destroyed attacker drones, and then personal is I think everyone's different. Then we have the story, of course. Uh, survival. Long nights are the perfect time to gaze at the stars. They're, they ground us, guide us home, and remind us how vulnerable we are. Uh, the wilderness is beautiful but dangerous, even for the most seasoned adventurer. So, so that rescue call wasn't expected, but uh, wasn't unexpected. I did what I could. I could to no wait. I did what I could to keep Nomad alive. My. The damage to my chopper I can repair. Her hand, however, my mother told me you can you can find out many things about yourself alone in the dark. Last thing I expected was to find a friend. So this was actually this is I'm actually going to just take a minute. This was actually a really good cinematic, and not only that, but this actually ties together a lot of of like the R6 lore. Like now we know like Nomad kind of like no nomad and thunderbird are connected and and thunderbird is connected to like nomad who's connected to frost who's connected to like all of those people so it's going to be really interesting uh and then of course we have all the rules and stuff but that was the battle pass so let's actually talk about notifications so uh i got my goal this season of course so um i played rank last season now i have the 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 charm so now we have, um, so now operator, so details and statistics have been removed from, D from, wait, what? I might have to check that, but anyway, so now we have Malusi changes. We have core gameplay, when, when active, the center of Malusi Banshees, uh, are vulnerable to bullets, lasers, explosive, melee damage, all that stuff. So essentially when you now when you deploy a Malusi, um it will not like like if you guys have played R6, um when Malusi, Malu you would like whenever you deploy it, Malusi would pull it out. Like pull out the like um thing that's inside of it. Like you you can see like uh right right here where my like cursor is, like that image right there. That is like the closed state. Um, so now they changed it of where once in that closed state, it cannot get like shot or whatever. But when it's open, it can get shot now. So it's a major nerf to Malusi. That is one thing that, that came this season. Now we have 
smoke changes. So now smoke canisters can uh, are changed. So now it's like a new look and stuff. And it's essentially to prevent a lot of the glitching in walls, floors, and ceilings, all that stuff. Now they have uh, dropping diffusers also. So uh, this was one thing that they implemented in the test server, of course. Uh, so now um, you can actually, like, there's actually a dedicated, like, dropping diffuser button now. So um, essentially it can prevent players from accidentally dropping it from, the like, the X. So now we, ha and now moving on, one thing that actually changes the entire thing um is the electric immunity so now defender devices are now immune to like bandits and cades so yeah um and now ash's breaching rounds are now immune to cades and ash uh cades and bandits so and so how it worked before was electricity if you put a defender gadget by it it had a chance to destroy it, and if you're Ash and you try to, say, blow up a barbed wire uh, that had a Kate on it or a bandit, it essentially got rid of it, and now, apparently, that's not, that's no longer, that's no longer the case. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see how it's going to work, how strong Ash is going to be, or what. So now we have... Eliminated operator icons. So now um, this was to get rid of a lot of the frustration when it was operators. Uh, how it was before was that operators, um, or how it was previously was that a lot of people um, would essentially like hide in bodies, hide in dead bodies, and now that's no longer that's no longer going to be um, present because. You can see down there, this change was made to prevent unfair gameplay. Um, now, after a short uh, period of time after you kill someone, uh, a operator icon will now appear instead of a body. So that, is so that is going to be interesting to play as, or to play with. So now we have scoreboard changes. So this kind of was kind of weird f to me at first. Um, I'm going to have to see how it is in the actual game. Well, essentially, they updated to show how many stages of each match, the outcomes of each round, and banned operators. So essentially, they add this like little bar below, um, or in between the uh, your in between your team and the uh, defense, or your team and the opposing team of how it shows like who um, maybe like who. I, I don't know, dude. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's going to be weird. But now they also show banned operators. So now you can see who, like, you can double check. Oh, yeah, that, that like, Cavs banned or someone. So now they change, and another change that they did was death changes. So when a player dies, they can now skip to the first person death uh, animation. Um, and, yeah, so, wait, can I view this? Yeah. So when a player dies, they can now skip over to the first person. Uh, slow motion and and the slow motion and opponent close up have also been removed to keep to keep the player in the flow of the action. So uh, essentially now, um, so now it's kind of just like a change in how you die. And now of course there is battle pass. So bonus tiers are now available. Um, no bonus tiers are now. Uh, available to all premium battle pass owners players can unlock an uncommon rare epic or legendary pack every five tiers after tier 100 so uh, essentially you can just keep playing it so then we have interface so tactical realism has been removed now players can customize the appearance of the hud with new interface preferences and option menus so that's going to be actually interesting then we have a major like i'm talking like this is very major major mira maestro bulletproof um change so now players can melee hit miras maestro cams and um and bulletproof cameras to permanently shatter the glass and remove visible remove visibility from those gadgets so let's say like Let's say you're playing as Mira, and let's say you're watching, uh, 
face mount on Oregon, and the attackers are running up to your mirror, they can knife it, and now you will never, no longer be able to see uh, through that mirror, which really sucks. Um, but one thing that really sucks is bulletproofs are no longer viable, really. Um, <laughs> they're, no, they're no longer really useful um, because of it now. So then we have... Um, so the action of picking up the fuser is now manual, like other devices. And no, no, I also just got some more six red. So, um, let's check some of this out. So, I don't know why I'm on east. I don't know. I'm, a, I'm in central. I don't know. <laughs> so, interface. So, now we have interface preferences. Minimal, cinematic, all that stuff. So, we have allow scoring, grenade indicator, T-out lines, uh, huh. Interesting. All this stuff, holy. So you can actually like turn off like pings or something if your team's being annoying. Uh anything else that's new? Nope. They add, well, they, uh they also added streamer mode, which is actually kinda cool. Um now let's check out the operators. The operator screen. So Oh, Oh, oh! I don't think I like these logos. Hold up! I don't think I like these logos. I think these logos are actually kind of bad. But look at Thatcher's. No. Oh my god! Look at I. Oh, I just switched over to the shop. My bad. Um, no. Okay, let's go to Thunderbird. And let's um, look at some of the stuff. So, of course, we have for default her airborne, and now we have North Star, which has this like kind of like a mount mountainous look, which I kind of like. Uh, we also have so, of course, we have air the airborne thing on. So now we have so let's customize this. So we have the spear. Uh, of course, you only have you have the new red dot, you have the hollow, and you have the reflex. Um. Wait, did I use... Wait, hang on. I want to make sure I know what I used on Finca. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Okay, I used Muscle Break. My bad. Side note. <laughs> what the hell? Let's just ignore that. Okay, so... So, of course... She has, of course, the Spear... Uh, muzzle break is what I like to run because I'm on console and all this stuff. So let's do a weapon skin. Uh, we could do the sharp vendetta. Um, you know what? Let me just do the the last season's um, uh, first class burglary skin. Um, then she also has a spaz 15 as a uh, secondary primary. Um, for this, I'll just have the, the cavalier thing. For her secondary weapon, she has, of course, the bearing nine, which actually received... A lot of the SMGs kind of received a change in a sense. I don't know exactly what major change we can actually actually let's test out some of the changes and stuff so um first class burglary um then she also has the uh lesion and uh ying uh pistol i actually went over it in a my thoughts on um i went over it on the on my uh thoughts on r6 um thoughts on uh north star video where i kind of like discussed all the changes kind of or like all the loadout and stuff so I, I also really like the jacket i think the jacket is actually really cool um so oh yeah so now you can no longer see the stats which actually kind of sucks so let's actually so so her real name is 
Mina Sky, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Mina, maybe? Uh, nicknamed Thunderbird. She is with the Star Net Aviation. She was born in the Narcota regions, which is kind of like on the upper side of like the North America. Um, so let's take a look. So air or ground, you can fire your balance or end up with a face of dirt. So, um, so yeah, Nomad actually brought Thunderbird to Rainbow, uh, of where, um, Harry actually went through, um, went through the evaluation for, for, um, for Thunderbird, um, so, um, and, in here, Harry kind of, like, states, like, if maybe, um, she, maybe, like, um, Th Thunderbird's experience has, like, inspired Nomad to welcome someone like Frost. So, um, so Harry states in here, given her background, I feel like Frost and Sky have much to bond over, which I really hope is actually something that actually happens, like, maybe, like, a visual thing, like, maybe, like, or, like, in-game, like, maybe, like, uh, like, Frost kind of, like, compliments, like, like, uh, Thunderbird's gadget or something. I don't know. Um, so let's take a look at her training. So she was a, she was in the Bold Eagle program. The, uh, she went into the Canadian Armed Forces, and then she went to the Canadian Forces School of Aerospace Technology. Went to the Royal Canadian Air Force. She's a basic medical officer. Uh, she did a course on aeromedical. She's a eight-wing trenchon, and she's a 426 transport training squadron. So relevant experience. She was a Ingles, uh, Eagle Assist, Active Skies, uh, Numa, Numa sur Survey. Uh, a Kassara volunteer. So then we have um, her device being analyzed by not Doc, but Mira. Or, no, not Doc, by Finca. Um, so upon examination, I'll say I'm impressed with the creativity and technological ability that that Thunderbird has put into the healing station. Finding chemicals with biocapability and bioabsorbed properties was crucial to the success of this, or the capsules. Um, the sensor is combined with a 36, direc 36 degree direc uh, directional um, rotation, allowing the station to distribute agent unassisted. Um, the Kona station is almost as good as having an extra member on the team. Uh, so the addition of Chio Chio Sun Chito Sun <laughs> I don't know. Um, with the, um, with, with the pressure of the, with the oppression, uh, with the addition of Cheeto Sun, I think that's called, uh, with the pressure of the expanding foam can seal, seal a bigger wound than medical cyanocrylite adhesives. Uh, I think Doc will be excited at the prospect of no longer needing to extract fibers from healing wounds. The only downfall of the station is this an inability to distinguish between friend or foe, which is actually in-game. Uh, though that is likely not a prior- or, of, no, though that was let- uh, blah, 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 blah. uh, though that likely wasn't a priority in its practical, uh, um, application, that and its inability to withstand blunt force trauma, while I focus on its uh, capacity to administer medical aid, I I, uh, I, did not neglect to test its defensive abilities. Withstanding damage from conflagration is a desirable advantage. I'm glad Mira found a way to incorporate the technology into Sky's existing tech. Thank you. Oh my god. I struggled through that entire thing. So... So it seems like, so essentially her gadget like is really advanced. <laughs> I guess that's the biggest thing. Um,
Doesn't look like uh, Ember Rise, but looks kind of close. I'm actually, I, I might actually get it. I don't know. But uh, we have the default, and then we have Airborne. Um, I don't know if I like these new logos. I think they're kind of, nah, not good. I don't like them. They, they don't look good in my opinion. Like I don't know why. They look like they significantly downgraded all the, like. This looks like more of a downgrade, which I really don't like. So, what's for the shop? Uh, nothing's really new in the shop. Um, so let's let's take a look at the new. Oh, they also add new favela, so they actually reworked favela and made it into a permanent nighttime map. So that's actually really cool. So let's take a look at the new charms. Oh, oh, wow. Wait, can I not look at the charms? Oh, I can't look at them close up. So, look, so that's kind of cool. It kind of, like, starts to, it, it, like, starts to grow from, like, cop. So it starts to go from, like, copper uh, to, like, bronze, and where it's, like, a little bit, to silver, to where it's, like, a little, little thing, then to, then to gold, of where it has, like, a little... Uh, growing then we have platinum that has like a nice like blue with like splash around it uh, we have diamond that actually has a really nice like white moose kind of like thing and then we have champion look at that champion charm dude like holy crap so of course the rules are all the same um um of course, Favela is not added into here, of course, which is a good thing. Uh, we really do need that out. Uh, we really do need a new map into ranked because a lot of these maps are kind of like repetitive um, <laughs> for ranked. Uh, but yeah, so uh, overall, great charms. Um, so let's actually just hop into um, a lone wolf to test out. Um, I want to test out uh, the SMG, specifically the Bearing 9. I want to see if there's a change with it. Specifically, I want to see, like, like what, like, if it's better. Oh, oh, I'm like, I'm like, I'm kidding. I'm, uh, it looks disgusting. Why is this all a downgrade? Like, this looks like beta. This looks like beta. Oh my god, this looks like beta. <laughs> this looks like beta siege. Oh my god, no. Oh my god. This all the logos look disgusting. Like I'm not even joking. Like okay, they were like it's disgusting. I don't like the lo I don't oh, like the are. logos. I don't like the logos at all. Okay, let's just have the very nine. I can't tell if it's better or not. I guess we'll find out in like three seconds. Nope. It's definitely not better. It's still kind of eh. I'm rusty, guys. Don't judge me. Job, idiot. <laughs> Is anyone else in here? Yep. I love having a 20 round mag. Yay! <laughs> that was a joke, if you guys couldn't tell. Oh my god, my frames are like 20. Oh god. Really? Oh 
Oh my god, my frames. I thought I cleared that room out alright. But I guess not. Oh, they also added a secret change. You see of now how there's like this this black thing uh, over the door. Um, this black like line. It's actually a new thing around the door to to help people see what the door is and what it's not. It's a quality of life change. Idiot. <laughs> I don't know, it's kinda better. I wouldn't say this is a good, a good... No, hang on. I don't know, I, don't, I can't tell if it's a good change or if it's like a, it's a very subtle change. I don't know, it's a very subtle change to the Barry 9. Oh yeah, here's the new replay system. Kind of eh. Kind of... meh. Um... But yeah. So, um... I don't know. I don't know how the new season's gonna play out. I'm gonna play it a little bit later. Uh... Oh, they, oh, they can't, they can't, oh, I, I don't think I like how they changed this. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I really hope the logos get changed. I want them to, res I want them to fix that. I don't like them. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't like them, but, um, let's, real fast before I end the video here, let's go over to Flores, because... Um, wait, is Flores the only operator whose thing really didn't change? Yeah, Flores' thing really didn't change. Okay, Ubisoft. Okay, Ubisoft. So let's go over to... Let's go over. Let's change. Because we... Because... This is the thing I, li I like to do. Put, put the charm corresponding with the operator. Um... Crimson High Gold. And then let's go over, and then that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so um, pretty much we don't really have a lot. We pretty much we we got a lot this season. Um, of course I'm going to play this season a lot, a lot. Uh, of course now there's a new bundle, Cloud Cloud Burst. Um, for of course, um. Uh, Thunderbird, so I'm not gonna get it. it's kind of just like eh. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video that I do, hopefully, either before next season or during next season. I don't know, but uh, all I know is that next uh, this season is going to be kind of a learning curve. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, and hopefully, Frank is not a bitch. Um, yeah, uh, stay safe, um, have a good day, and all that stuff. So, see ya. That's all I have. Uh, like, subscribe for more. Follow my Twitch if you guys haven't already. Probably in the description down below. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.